uh, today we are going to see the uh, different doubts of our subscribers just first uh, we are going to see uh, why we mention why we mention generator and transformer in KBEA why not for KW this is a question guys so now I am going to explain why we are mentioned in KVA generally we are mentioned in generator or transformer in KVA because of uh, suppose we have a 100 ampere output generator 500 voltage so now we are mentioned 50 kva generator so this is the way of we are mentioning generator or transformer anyone so actually generator or transformer any of this having a bindings so suppose transformer is primary and secondary bindings so generator is generator also having a winding uh, stator and rotor so the both of us having a some binding so this binding mostly probably we have a, uh, some copper binding so this copper is also having a some losses so this loss are we mentioned for power factor that means the loss are we are mentioned in KVAR so that's why we are going to mention in kva how is it is that means the kva is equal to kw plus kvar so here see kva is apparent power so here kw is true power or real power then the KVA or is reactive power so here reactive power is very important that means the coil bindings having some copper loss and then insulation loss and then bending loss so these are the losses are available in our transformer and generator so that's why we are mentioned in KVA for transformer and generator also so we don't have a zero losses material in up to now anyone invented this one so that's why we are always we are mentioned in KVFR uh, generator and transformer so this is a this is why we are mentioned in KVA so maybe you cleared your doubt next one so next one is uh, how to work star and delta in substation so this is the, this is the question i repeat it again how to work star and delta connection in substation this is this is the question now first we see the connection of star delta so simply i draw the sum so this is a delta so here we mentioned so this is for secondary that means R2 Y2 and B2 so here we draw for primary so here we have some cores so we need to short for three terminals. This one is neutral. This one is R1, B1, and Y1. So this is a star and delta connection. So now we are going for topic. How is it is? Or why we choose this one in HEV system 
we choose primary or star connection the first main reason is the primary winding is lesser that means the primary transformer winding transformer winding lesser that means low no need few turns will we will need the no need for num number of turns needed so that's the main purpose so these few turns will save our cost that means the economically this is one of the very best then second point is the neutral also available in primary so here we neutral we going to ground the neutral this neutral we are going to ground on primary so this is the hv transmission on substation we are using star and delta so in here uh, the large number of unbalance also stay on that means the large number of unbalanced current also here stay stable and then the star delta connection are no third harmonic in here just i don't have a space so i need to raise something so in here star and delta third harmonic will be managed for d connection current flow that means the secondary of delta connection current flow will manage the third harmonic of the harmonics problem so this is another one reason so here only we have some disadvantages first one is so a primary and secondary have a 30 degree phase shift so this is a disadvantage and here so otherwise this is a very good system the main purpose of we are use substation in delta and sorry star and delta connection is we are uh, few turns will be recorded in primary and then economically this is the best and then the uh, third hormone also we are managing here and then here only disadvantages we need to phase shift to the 30 degree of electrical angle so this is the disadvantages so now we are going to for next in here uh, for soft starter soft starter or VFD in starting uh, we are giving a non sign sign non sign slider wave voltage we apply to motor so this non sign sounder voltage is how perform to motor and this is going to affect the motor life or any of this so this is a question so on now here i said first one is now i said first one is uh, the non sign side of wave of voltage we apply for not sorry we apply for few minutes only that means uh, less than less than two minutes so that time motor will perform non sign side wave voltage so here nothing to happen in motor life and motor demand motor bendings so this is a 
because of we are not applying for continuous to we are not applying to continuous for non sinusoidal wave form just we are apply for 2 minutes less than 2 minutes so that's why i say uh, nothing to happen if non sinusoidal voltage you are applying for short starter or vfd used to motor running so this is a conclusion of non sinusoidal applications so next one we are going for you here of uh, any of motor have a some rated speed if in case we run motor more than rated speed so what happen here so this is the question so in here uh, so this is possible to run the motor in above the rated speed but what happened the uh, we are achieving above the rated speed for example we have a 360 T600 RPM rated speed that means the maximum speed so here we achieving 306 sorry 3600 RPM so that time we are having a only 25 percentage of torque so this is a torque we have that full speed condition of motor so here is possible to be run the motor in maximum speed and then two times of maximum speed also so after the two times of maximum speed also we are achieving only for 25 percentage of torque so that means the as per graph so this is a maximum just a minute maximum torque so here speed so maximum speed so here we are achieving the torque will be increase to achieve some stage on here so here is not a problem so here we are achieving for only 20 pp percentage that means sorry for here we are achieving this this is like so 50 hertz and 60 hertz 70 hertz 80 hertz and 100 like this so here we are achieving the more than maximum speed only 25 percentage of torque will be available on here this is the concept then you are possible to apply two times of frequency and two times of speed also but that speed and that frequency is not uh, efficient to we are get a more torque of motor so this is the reason we are run motor in above the rated speed so maybe these are the doubts are lost one month i got for sorry for the delay if you have any doubts please come on here thank you for watching